In this video we're going to create a new view controller which will be called image view and will be used to display a detailed view of the selected image. So uh, I will go to uh, my main storyboard, I'll hide everything here. I'll go to my main storyboard and I will create a new view controller. Drag it and drop here. I will also embed it into navigation controller. I'll need to select view controller, editor, embed and navigation controller. Resize it right away to 4 inch. And then select navigation item and I'll give it the title image view. Uh, here I will need an image view. So I will go to my objects library and look for image view. I'll drag and drop image view here. And I will also reset it to um, suggested constraints. Okay, so now I have image view. I will select it and I'll also change mode from scale to fill uh, to aspect fit. And now I need a custom class for this image view. So I will open up my left side panel, select my project folder, create a new file, Kako touch class, and that's going to be view controller. And that I will call it my image, my image view controller, language Swift, next, create. Very good, custom class is created and I'll go back to main storyboard. I select um, the uh, view controller, open up um, identity inspector and uh, for the custom class, I will provide my image view controller and also copy it. Uh, its name and paste it for identity storyboard ID because I need it here. Uh, okay, almost done. Now let's open this um, image view, view controller in assistant editor. And so it's my image view controller. Everything is correct. Select the image view and create an outlet for it. So hold control button while image view is uh, selected. Click, drag and drop somewhere here. And I will also call it my image view. Um, okay, so that uh, should uh, work. So, but before uh, we can uh, take a user from this, from our, let me hide panels, before we can take user from um, list of images to uh, an image view, we need to uh, we need to, yeah, so let's go to back to list image views and then find our um, did select index, did select item at index path function here and add some more code. So um, we need to take user to um, a my image view controller. And uh, for that, we need to instantiate that, view, uh, that uh, view controller. So I'll create a new variable and I'll call it my image view image view page uh, and that's going to be my image view controller equals self storyboard instantiate view controller with identifier and uh, our identifier we've set here is just the same as my image view controller so if i select this view controller open right side panel and quickly look up for the storyboard id here it's my image view controller so we are good Go back to a uh, list of images and I'll also as my image view controller. So now we have this uh, image view and we can take user uh, to, uh, to that page by doing self navigation controller, push a uh, view controller. And that's going to be my image view animated through. Okay, so that should work. Um, so if you, when user taps on this image, they will be taken to a controller, but that controller is not aware of the selected image. So we need to pass the selected image to uh, our uh, image view controller. So let's go back here to our image view and create a new property here. And I'll call it, um, that will be, a, um, I will, uh, let's create a variable, um, a selected 
image and that will be a string and we will now go back to um, list of images and we will select my image view selected image equals and we need to pass we know that it's inside of images we will grab the selected image from the list of images for index we have an index path here so we'll take this index path row so that will pick uh, up a selected image from a list of our from our images array assign it to a selected image inside of my image view controller and now when this image will um, this page will uh, load we can display uh, this image so and I will actually do it and not image not in view did load I'll do it and um, view view will appear super view will appear animated yeah I'll do it here and um, just like with the uh, collection view first of all we will uh, create a URL out of selected image and we will start loading its data and when data is loaded we will check if the data is not nil because if it's nil our application will crash if it's not nil then we can set this um, data to our image view so let's copy this here uh, and everything should work but because image can be large we again we need to put it uh, we need to put the whole thing into a, an asynchronous task so that our application does not hang and does not become unresponsive so we'll put it inside of a synchronous task and now because this code runs in background and if we want to communicate with our UI from a background task we need to put this code inside of it uh, into another asynchronous task which will uh, run on the main queue so I'll just adjust this code like this to make the task stand out and uh, this should work we will read the selected image and we will load the image and set it to our uh, my image view let's uh, run this example and see how it works okay we have our images loaded and we'll tap on one image and, and it's taken it, it, it takes us to the image view for that image we'll type on another image another image another and everything is everything is working so let's try rotating our device and um, see if orientation also works well we will rotate to left it's good we will go to image view it's also good uh, okay so this is it for this video and uh, let's continue